This is what Vladimir Putin's war has brought to the Donbass. Ghost towns, bruised and battered, and frail caretakers left behind, those who can't or won't leave. Svetlana Obosna is 82. I'm not afraid, she says, because this is a war and you have to be strong. Sloviansk is about 60 kilometers from Severodonetsk, scene of some of the fiercest fighting of the war. The battle for the city is considered pivotal, given Russia's perceived intention of taking all of the industrial heartland. These pictures are from a state-owned Russian news agency. Frightened people still in the city live underground. This woman, since April 6th. A bomb hit her house, she says. It fell through the roof and the ceiling in the hall. It's still lying there. People in Sloviansk fear if the Russians take Severodonetsk, they could be next. The building behind me was damaged in a rocket attack just about a week ago, and you wouldn't think it to look at it, but there are still people living inside. No water, no electricity, and we are right in the center of Sloviansk. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has called fighting in the Donbass extremely difficult, but he insists Ukrainian troops are holding. Other cities of the Donbass, which the occupiers now consider to be the primary targets, stand, he says. But at a terrible cost. Ukrainian authorities say they're losing as many as 100 soldiers a day. Repeating appeals for more and better weaponry, given the strength of the enemy they're facing. Margaret Evans, CBC News, Sloviansk.